here we are in KS Vanda Speedway Stadium uh, here in Krakow. It was one place where motorsport, motor racing uh, was going on. Uh, unfortunately, not racing cars, but speedway. Uh, here in Poland, the speedway is very popular, so we had also really in past good club, uh, speedway club as KS Vanda. Unfortunately, I, I didn't uh, or fortunately, I didn't start with speedway, but I started with a small car. And uh, here we are here because next to the uh, speedway stadium, there is a asphalt camp where I start to doing slalom. It's over there. And I will show you later how I start and how the history of my career starts. So here we are, this is the place when I start uh, my motorsport story, my motorsport career. Uh, this is, as you can see, asphalt camp. Uh, there's a funny story about this place, because I was coming quite often here. Everybody knows me as a small kid driving around the cones. And uh, there was speedway match quite uh, often every week. And uh, one time the KS Vanda, the name of the uh, stadium and the name of the team, Speedway team, they were losing the match and suddenly all people, all crowd turn around and doesn't watch anymore the Speedway, they start watching me. So this is this was really funny and uh, I remember it uh, as it was yesterday. My first competition was not in Poland and was not uh, on normal road, on normal racetrack. Uh, it was uh, something different. When I was eight years old, uh, we went with my father and my mother to Germany and uh, I participated in two races. Uh, there was kind of uh, karting. Uh, mainly was goal was to go as fast as possible between the cones without touch them. And uh, out of 90 drivers, I finished fifth for the first time in my life. And for the first time I, I came with the trophy to my house. So as you can see, there are cones here. And, but first we didn't start with the cones straight away. We start with something more simple. My father bought a lot of bottles of water and uh, put them around this camp and I was driving around them. Uh, then later, of course, after two, three years, my father bought cones, around 100 cones we had. We had small room here around uh, where we can keep our cart and uh, those cones. And each time I came here, my father chose different configurations of the track. I, I drive around the cones or even between them. He did some, you know, special configuration, special track where I, can, I have to stay uh, uh, in between those cones. And uh, it was good because it, it, it created and it practiced the feeling of the card and also the precision. And uh, also he was taking that lap times.
uh, Krakow is my in the end is my hometown. So I'm I'm born in Krakow. I I have spent a lot of uh, my early years of my life in Krakow, and uh, my family is there. So every time people ask me when you are coming back home, I say I come back Krakow home. So I don't come back often, but I like to come back there. It's I think most historic place related to my career. Uh, we are in uh, close to Częstochowa, it's a car track, uh, nothing special as you, you can see, but at least something. Uh, in Krakow, where is my hometown, we don't have any car track, so we were traveling, we were driving with my father uh, often here, twice a week, uh, especially when I was very young, from 7 to 10 years old, uh, we were training a lot. Uh, you know, it, it was not easy for us because it's nothing special, it's, uh, it was always dirty. There were not a lot of people were coming here, so we have to also clean the track. And uh, But we were here often because uh, it was the only place where we really can train. And uh, it's, it's, that's why it's very historic and uh, I think it's uh, many, many nice moments and uh, many important moments happened here uh, on this track. Here only happened some uh, national, regional, uh, not national, regional races, so only from this region. Uh, you know, the track doesn't have uh, anything really. It has, you know, only small place, uh, we call it paddock, where, where the car with, with the cart stop and we were, you know, uh, doing some uh, changes on the cart there. And uh, otherwise it's, uh, it's only, you know, the track and uh, so we have better tracks in Poland. Uh, for karting, but uh, they were far away from my house, so we came only here for practice. But I think it, it was good track, something strange or something different than uh, maybe Europe. We could drive on, on both directions. So, you know, after two years when I was always driving same direction, one day my father said, OK, so we changed now. And uh, it, it came a new track, so it came something different. and. Uh, you know, we were always here nearly alone, so we can do what we want, and uh, that was really good. You see, for example, we had the train which passed a few minutes ago, and uh, normally the train doesn't, doesn't, uh, you know, it just passed and it's the train, but uh, here is, it's funny because I remember when I was six, seven years old and the train was passing and while I was driving, I want to be always faster than the train, and, uh, you know, it, it's small things, but it makes, uh, you know, uh, feelings and it makes history and uh, uh, honestly I never come back here uh, af after I leave Poland. Uh, but it's very nice and, uh, you know, for you maybe from outside people doesn't say nothing and it's only, you know, honestly it's not good racetrack, it's, you know, it's very dirty and old. But uh, for me, you know, it's something where I spend a lot of time and it's something where uh, I spend a lot of good moments. 97 was my last uh, and third season in in uh, karting Polish Championship. Uh, yeah, I raced in three categories. Uh, in three years, I won six uh, six times Polish Championship because we, I could race in different categories. Uh, and my father decided, okay, so to improve your skills and to improve yourself. Uh, we should maybe try to go Europe to you know to participate to go into really uh, high high level uh, karting sport in in Europe and uh, my father decided to move to Italy to start there and uh, because Italy was the best uh, european or best even in the world league of uh, championship and uh, the highest level all the best drivers from all the world were were coming there and uh, I remember we were going first race uh, into Gento was uh, first round of uh, international Italian championship and uh, we we didn't know what to expect we were going there with you know big question of mark how how my performance will be okay we w we have been in Italy before in the winter when here was snowing uh, two seasons uh, earlier we started already going to Italy to to you know to know the tracks where maybe uh, one day I will be driving because in in that time we didn't know that I will drive in Europe. Uh, so I practice in Italy and uh, we know a bit my skills, but not so much. And uh, Ugento was first big exams of my skills in in Europe, and uh, 
It was really good moments because uh, I make pole position in qualifying and then uh, on two races because in karting in Italian Championship we have always two races per weekend. I finished both races uh, second, so it was a really good, uh, good start of the season. In the beginning of the season I was driving private, uh, as as private driver my father bought the material. We have uh, Jurek uh, Vrona who was my mechanics and we always travel uh, back to Poland and uh, after four races uh, CRG uh, has a team as uh, it is manufactured, one of the biggest manufacturers of uh, material for karting, chassis and engines. Uh, they offered me a contract as an official driver so it was really good opportunity for me, uh, I get everything, I get uh, all team uh, for my disposition and it uh, was a really good uh, season for me because I won uh, Italian championship as uh, first driver in the history, not Italian driver, uh, to win this championship, so uh, it was the uh, first historic moment of my career. In the middle of 99 uh, we decided, okay, it's worth to go always uh, you know, back to Poland and uh, after three days again to Italy because it's, uh, you know, it's too stressful, it's, it's uh, really, uh, you have to save energy and uh, in 99 uh, I was even more involved in, uh, I will not say project, but uh, to develop the chassis and engines for junior category, everything what was built in CRG uh, I tested, you know, for, for the competition, so I was first one who, who has everything new to test and I was driving a lot of, I was living close to the racetrack and close to the CRG factory where, where is uh, three kilometers only far away from the uh, Lonato, South Garda racetrack in Italy, so uh, we have everything together and we were spending a lot of time as well for practicing and testing in there. I was uh, doing what I love, what I like. Uh, I was, I, can, I have opportunity to drive uh, on the highest level in the international races. I had a good team, I have uh, good people and I think it's uh, really difficult on, on those times to get into good people and uh, I have always around my, my person uh, really good people who, which wants to help me and uh, I think I was a bit of luck, or lucky as well because uh, I always get people which helps me and uh, they believe in me and uh, that's uh, most important and uh, all four years or five years when I live in Italy uh, I think was really good school of life. You know the, there is trio which goes from 98 till now and maybe next season we will meet again all us three together in Formula 1. It's uh, Nico and uh, me, we, we are already in Formula 1. Uh, this season and uh, Lewis Hamilton. We are always free, uh, you know, jumping from the category together. I was driving against Nico in, and Lewis in '98, and uh, I hope we will we will meet in the Formula One paddock next year to compete again. Tak, tak. Uważaj, jak już 
przejdziła, to Polskę zakręciłem na drogę. Bo tak to to jechałem na bardzo łowę. Znaczy za bogatszy. Za bogatszy jechałeś? Nie. Skręciłeś? Na piwie jak się miał. Odpalamy maszyny, idziemy. uczestników wyścigu o zwycięstwo w dziewiątej rundzie kartingowych Mistrzostw Polski. Kubica Automobil Klub Krakowski Krzysztof Bryzek Automobil Klub Wielkopolski Poznań I trzecie miejsce dla Anny Kowalskiej Automobil Klub Koszaliński I prosi He came with his father. He was far too young to drive a, a road car, a normal car. So he came from uh, Krakow, from his uh, own town. And uh, we met in my office. And uh, his father, Robert, and myself. And uh, my first surprise, the big surprise, was 
uh, the fact that Robert, uh, although was only 16 years old, was very uh, mature, was uh, very focused, and uh, uh, he didn't let talk his father at all. So we had a one-hour conversation, and uh, I realized that he was a kind of special character, and uh, so I was quite intrigued. I think is uh, the fact that he is uh, very, very clever, you know. And uh, in uh, modern motor racing uh, cars, especially Formula One cars, are very compli compli complicated from a, uh, an aerodynamical point of view, electronic point of view, uh, tire choice, and so on. So he, what is important, uh, he, what is special in Robert is that he knows exactly why he's fast or why he's slow, and so he can uh, react consequently. He's a very easygoing guy, he's not complicated, he's not arrogant, you know, uh, which may look normal, you know, but uh, as a matter of fact, uh, not all the young drivers, you know, can, uh, can be so uh, calm. Uh, and uh, on top of that, I think it's important that he doesn't, he doesn't feel uh, much pressure. He has a positive pressure, of course, he, well, because he wants to win, he wants to be in the front, but uh, he, hasn't, he hasn't got these typical reactions uh, that, uh, of, that g can give, you know, some up and downs that are not uh, helpful if you are a, a top driver. Witam wszystkich. Panie wróci, zapraszamy. Tak. Co, co pan czuł, kiedy pan y, zdobył trzecie miejsce na, na mistrzostwa? Jedziemy. No to trzecie miejsce na podium y, we Włoszech. Y, bardzo miłe uczucie, bo jednak y, było to moje trzecie Grand Prix, czyli trzeci wyścig, który startowałem w Formule 1. No i co, bardzo się cieszyliśmy, ja, zespół i oby, oby więcej takich wyników. Miejmy nadzieję, że w przyszłym sezonie Będziemy mieli jeszcze więcej takich wyścigów, gdzie będę mógł stawać na podium. How old you are? I'm 21 years old. Uh, 7th December I will uh, turn 22. Ah, no. Oh. Oh, yeah, the Paulina? Na Kasi. I wracamy na miejsce. Jak masz na imię? Łukasz?
Da? La Marte ce la Marte? Dziękuję bardzo za spotkanie. Mam nadzieję, że było bardzo miło. Ja uciekam, ale wiecie, zaraz wracam. Cześć. So that was really nice welcome and uh, really enjoyed. Hope uh, the child enjoyed it as well. Let's go to see what's in my old classroom. Uh, we just knock. So welcome in my old classroom. Uh, this actually was my classroom from the first class, first year in the school. Uh, nothing really changed. Uh, before was a bit bigger, was more space. Now I see they make it a bit smaller. Probably there is a different room. Uh, here was my desk, exactly in this position. Uh, maybe not my chair, but uh, I was sitting here, so it was quite, quite good. And uh, yeah, always choosing last, last desk because it was easier to talk with my friends. And uh, I have always, you know, we have always boys together when you are six, seven years old. So we were always, you know, a bit noisy. And the teacher has some problems with us. But uh, anyway, I have really good memories with this, this class, this uh, years, and uh, really enjoy it. Here we are a bit outside of Krakow. Uh, I spent here one year, then I moved to, with my family to Krakow, so I went to a different school and uh, I spent here one year. Uh, it's a really small school because we are outside from really Krakow, it's a small village, so we don't need, uh, we have not a lot of people living here. But, uh, uh, you know, the memories were, were really nice and uh, I think uh, when you are six years old and you are going to the school with all kids, all kids and uh, you want to see them and you enjoy, you play, you know, you, you're really not uh, learning something. You, of course you are learning, but by playing. And uh, this is, I think, the best way for the kids and was the best way for me. Unfortunately, the contact uh, is a bit gone because, uh, as I say, I spent not a lot of time here one year and I moved to different schools. So, uh, you know, the contact is a bit gone, especially then later when I moved to Italy, I was not living in Poland and I was not spending a lot of in Poland. I was just coming for the exams and stuff like this. Uh, the class was around 15 uh, ch child, uh, 15 kids, so not big, but uh, really nice and uh, really uh, nice moments. I was, uh, you know, I think the guy who, who was simple and uh, really relaxed as I think I'm still now. So uh, I knew that, uh, you know, I was just enjoying my life and uh, as I am trying to do now, but uh, by playing and I like to play when I was young and uh, I still like, play, like to play when I'm 21. I like uh, most mathematics. Uh, I was, for me, I was really good in this, uh, this material. Uh, I didn't like history, not at all, and I was not good in the history. Well, I have uh, really good uh, teachers in, in, uh, in the school and uh, they helped me a lot. Uh, when I was 13, uh, I was driving in Italy. First season in 98, I was al always traveling with my father. So uh, I was uh, like one week in the school, then uh, four or five days I, I was not, not in the school, then I come back. So I have to, you know, see what, what was going on and uh, uh, re-catch catch the, 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 the level of, of, the, of the kids, uh, of the, um, you know, of the top level. I mean, I was quite good in the school always and uh, I have a really simple rule in, in my family that uh, if I was good in the school, I could drive. If I was not good, uh, I was driving less. So I like to drive, so I knew that you know, if I'm good in the school, I have no problem and my parents leave me to drive. And, and uh, of course, uh, they were happy if I have good notes uh, in, in the school. And uh, then when I was 14, 15, uh, I was coming back each two, two, three months. I was coming back. Uh, the, the teachers give me all lessons, all materials, and uh, I have to make exams. 
Uh, so I finished uh, in Poland in these years when I was going into the school. There was one first school was eight years uh, and then uh, high school like uh, four or five years. Uh, now it's changed. It's uh, first school is five uh, years, then uh, gymnasium three years and then uh, high schools. Uh, so first school was eight years, uh, I, I finished it and then unfortunately I finished just one year of high school uh, because I, I have to choose or racing or studying and uh, I chose racing because I enjoy it most and uh, I knew that uh, I can achieve something and it, it happens. No to ja, gramy? <laughs> 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 Here we are on the stadium, small stadium where I start to play football. Uh, I used to training here because uh, my uh, family, my grandmother was living here. So each time I come here to visit her, I was playing with the, my friends uh, here. Actually, I play for uh, in football uh, championship in, in different uh, club. But here I start my story fun with, with the football in this stadium. So, as you see, better I choose uh, racing than the football player. I'm a bit better in the racing as race driver.
in Poland we we always say that uh, if you have luck or you don't have luck if you have luck you always say that you have been in uh, Jasna Góra in Częstochowa if you don't have that you have to go go there but, but not by car walking so it's uh, you know we always say in Krakow and when you have uh, not luck not enough luck that you should go 150 kilometers walking then come here come back and then for sure you will have this luck for all rest of your life Robert Kubica po jego lewej stronie Mariusz Butecki, Marek Butkiewicz, obok Cezary Zamana, Bartosz Kuzalski i stawkę zamyka Piotr Kozmar. Robert, spojrzysz tutaj. Panowie, schodzimy z podesta. Na wyzywanie Grand Prix i e, jeśli zajedziemy na półkę, to będzie... E, dla... Te Roberta Kubice. Robercie, zapraszam Cię do tych stolików. Tam czekają już zdjęcia, tam czekają plakaty. Krótko. Liczymy na siebie. Dziękuję. Tą formułę 1 i oczywiście Roberta Kubica już. To spotkanie, proszę Państwa, tego czasu w swoim kalendarzu ma naprawdę niewiele. Państwo... Jak to to na pewno pokazuje, że może ktoś ma rację i może ci, co mówią dobrze o mnie, może na czymś się znają. Po wyścigu e, uważam, że parę... No, ok, tutaj. Tu, 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 tu. Tutaj, tutaj, tutaj na górę. Well, the car is very, very powerful as a road car and uh, nice to drive. For sure, it's quite easy to, uh, you know, control it when you go sideways. But this is not usual as you should drive on the normal road. So here we can do a bit of fun, you know, a bit of sideways, and uh, it's good fun, good, good car, and uh, I think everybody enjoyed. I start very young. Uh, first of all, was of course, uh, you know, playing with with the. So I get small car 
which was uh, with two horsepower engine with two speed uh, two, two speed uh, manual gearbox and uh, I, I start just playing on the parking and uh, when I was four and a half uh, then I get first uh, card when I was six but unfortunately in Poland uh, you you can race only when you are 10 so we have to wait uh, till I was 10 uh, to get a karting license in Poland and I did uh, some Polish championship for three years and then I moved to, to Europe, to Italy for racing on the highest level possible. Yeah, I drove Forma 3 in 2003 in Norrisink with uh, mainly with 70% with the left arm. Uh, the right one was only for changing gears and uh, just, uh, you know, as, as a, yeah, in the end as a changing gear. So I was... Uh, of course, no racing is the quite easy track. It's not high speed corner, so it helps me, but it was not easy. Or I was racing with the protection of my arm, and uh, but I won this race. It was my first race in my career in Formula Three in the really strong ch championship as Euro Series, uh, and uh, was really good moment. I think one of the best moments in my career. There were some uh, not really nice moments in my career, but. Uh, I cannot say the you know worst one. I mean, uh, I struggled pretty a lot of seasons to get results. Uh, you know, if for, in racing, you you, it's the driver. Of course, it's important, but sometimes the material, uh, it's also important because we without good car, you can be best driver in the world, but you will not win the season. So, you have to have all package and. Uh, uh, you know, it was not easy, but uh, 2004, I think, the year with uh, when I raced in Formula 3 Euro Series was was not the easiest of the of the my career, but I learned a lot. You know, even if the year of was really tough, I learned uh, a lot of good positive things from this year. Honestly, Formula One was never my goal; it was a dream, and uh, my goals were more realistic. Uh, you know, Formula One is really close to the world, and uh, there are not many places uh, uh, which are free. And uh, you have to, honestly, you have to be also a bit lucky, as I was in the end of last year when I re received the phone call of, of Mario Tyson, and uh, I came to him, and uh, after two weeks we signed the contract, and I get this opportunity, which is really good opportunity for me, uh, and it shows that. Uh, I was able to to performing well to do my job very well, uh, and I think uh, without this opportunity, without this luck, I will be not in Formula One. So uh, I think all young drivers, uh, the the goal is to become professional driver, and also my goal was to become professional driver, which was quite realistic, I would say. But Formula One was a dream, and uh, the dream come true. In Formula One, there are many good drivers, and. Uh, you know, I don't have really one idol or hero in Formula 1. Michael Schumacher will be too easy to say because, you know, with all uh, championship he, he won, it's, you know, for sure one of the best uh, drivers in the history. And uh, But I always liked Giancarlo Fisichella uh, when I was racing karting. Maybe because he he became Formula 1 driver without uh, big money, without big support and... Uh, I knew that if I want to become a Formula 1 driver, I have to struggle a lot because I have never had support from my home country and never big budget. So I'm really proud, even more proud that I become a Formula 1 driver if I would have sponsors or, or money. Last December, I got a really good opportunity from Renault F1 team as I was winner of World Series by Renault Championship to do this test in Barcelona, which went really good. Uh, they, I was driving only half a day with them team, but uh, I think uh, without this day I would be not here because uh, uh, after this test, uh, I think uh, you know BMW Sauber get me uh, in contact with them because they saw that I'm performing well straight away with Formula One car. And uh, uh, what was surprise for me that uh, uh, we signed the contract with our team without uh, testing before, so. They have to know, they have seen our, my test in the beginning of December and they, this shows that I can perform well straight away. It was pretty different than with Renault in the beginning of December. Uh, I knew that I have already, you know, contract in the pocket, I would say, the signed contract. But uh, of course, uh, first impression is very, very important and it has to be positive. And uh, 
you know, it was not easy because it was still with uh, last year car, which was uh, pretty difficult to drive, compare Renault car, which was world champion winner. Uh, it was not an easy day, but uh, I remember I was really slow. Uh, but, uh, you know, in Formula 1, uh, they don't say everything what's going on and which tire you have or what what con configuration you are running with the car. And uh, uh, I was, uh, you know, really, really slow for, for my, uh, I think, for my goal, which was for the, this day of testing. Uh, but after the test, uh, you know, you see the people that they are happy and I say, oh, what's going on? I'm slow, but they are happy. So, and then, of course, they, they, they say to you, you know, what's going on, why you were a bit slower than they should be. Next day, which uh, I test, was straight away two seconds quicker and everything came back to the normal. So, you know, I think it was a pretty tough day and uh, I think a uh, good test. Not not uh, as, as, you know, speed, because I think the team knows that I have speed, but uh, I think the team wants to test me how, if I can stay close to the limit, not over the limit. Even when I'm slow, you know, when you are, when you want to do a good impression, you want to be quick. But sometimes you cannot be quick. You 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 do more impression to be consistent and to know where 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 you where is your limit. And that's what I have done. I have really tough moments in my career, which uh, honestly I was losing a bit of confidence uh, that I can, uh, that my dream can be still possible to join Formula One. I was still young, but you know, in in those times, it's not easy. And, uh, you know, all, all suddenly I, I, I realized that uh, after signing the contract with BMW Zauber F1 team, uh, I get this chance to, to be test driver and try the driver. And uh, it was really good, good opportunity. And uh, it shows that uh, I was pushing. I was really concentrated on my job uh, to help the team. And uh, I get even better opportunity uh, now that I'm... Uh, Grand Prix driver and uh, I can race the uh, last uh, few races in, in this season to show uh, that I can do also a good job in the racing, not only as test driver. It's not, not the easiest thing to, to fit in our car this year. Uh, the car was built for much smaller drivers and uh, unfortunately I'm uh, too tall. I would like to have some uh, centimeters less, but uh, I cannot change it. And uh, this is how I am. And uh, uh, but. Honestly, uh, I'm fit in the car for sure in the beginning of the season because, uh, you know, this kind of chance you cannot throw it away. And uh, I remember before signing, uh, Mario and uh, Peter Sauber asked me to jump into the car to see if I can fit. And uh, I, I make sure I, I did 100% everything to fit uh, properly in the car because, you know, this I knew that it will depend if I, I get this opportunity and uh, I jump into the car, was not comfortable, but I say it's perfect, <laughs> and, you know, like to, to make sure that uh, I will get this opportunity. I have seen some Formula One teams in the past, but uh, of course our team is it's, it's really good and uh, with uh, high technology uh, wind tunnel, new wind tunnel, it's a it's really good uh, improvement, I would say. and. Uh, it, it, our, this season shows that the car is getting better. The old people in Hinville and Munich they are pushing to to get as close as possible to front runners, uh, the best teams. And uh, but it's not easy, you know. All season we are developing the car. Car gets better, but also our competitors are working and they are not sleeping. So you know it's really difficult to close the gap uh, to such a good teams as as uh, Ferrari or Renault and. Uh, we are fighting, but we need time, and uh, I feel I'm I'm pretty sure we have everything. Uh, good people, the people which want to to become strong, and uh, that's most important. And especially also for me, as I was test driver, it's really important that uh, your job, you are, which you are doing on testing, is followed by by the team, and uh, the car is get better and better. It gives you a power and motivation. I'm really happy and I'm really enjoying it. All all things, you know, working with such a good team as BMW Sauber, so, you know, working with Formula One, it was always the dream of, of, of me and uh, it's it's really good and I'm really enjoying this time. Nick is very experienced, very good driver, otherwise he will not stay so long in Formula One and uh, for sure uh, results of this season shows that uh, he's really good driver and uh, of course, if he will, who he wouldn't be good driver, he will not be our in our team, and uh, 
uh, it's good to have uh, so so experienced driver as a teammate because I can uh, see I can learn many things. My good part of 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 me is uh, my head, and uh, I think uh, mentally I'm pretty strong and. Uh, I have learned, especially in the last uh, few seasons, that uh, 50 or even more percent of, of your success is, is, is done by your head and uh, by your uh, mental preparation, and that's really important. The short-term goals it's uh, to do the best job as I can and uh, to try score some points. Uh, long terms, uh, I would say same. I mean, uh, I can be cr quite critical with myself and uh, if I jump out from the car, say that, and I said that I know that I have done a good job, I will be happy. And uh, I would like to stay a few years more in Formula One for sure. The best uh, keeping in shape is driving. As this season, I have done already, I think, around 16, 17,000 kilometers. And still, there are a few races to go and few test sessions. So I will, uh, I think, easily arrive over 20,000. Uh, so it's the best training, but of course, when you are at home, you are trying to to keep uh, as fit as possible. And uh, of course, running, jogging, uh, bicycling, biking and uh, gym, uh, you know, uh, also Formula One is uh, really tough for the neck. And in the beginning of the season was really important to, you know, get a really good neck, strong neck to to, do, to don't feel any problems because with uh, those speed in high speed corners, and uh, it's easy that your neck follow down and uh, you lose a bit of view and that's not good. From the Formula 1 calendar is uh, Montreal and Melbourne. Uh, from outside of Formula 1 calendar as a favorite racetrack is Macau. Uh, all three, they are uh, one thing in, in the same thing is uh, that there are street tracks on the normal roads. So the walls are closed and uh, the margin of, of the mistake is much smaller than uh, on normal trucks and uh, I really like uh, street trucks. Suddenly, uh, interest about my person and my results uh, become much higher when I, I have this opportunity to race in the uh, Grand Prix of Hungary. And uh, of course, the media is, is now speaking much more about uh, me and uh, the people get much more interest uh, because I'm first Polish driver to join the Formula One. Uh, Grand Prix races as a race driver, so uh, it, it's not easy, but uh, you know, I'm not spending a lot of time in Poland, so this helps me. I say that I have holidays for all year because I'm doing what I like, and even if it's the job, hard job, uh, I don't feel it's, uh, as, 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 a, as a work. And uh, uh, I haven't done holidays for a few, few years already, uh, because even if I have some free times, I like to come back uh, to my hometown, to my family, and uh, this is my holiday play. So I don't really have uh, some special uh, places. Uh, racing car, uh, tires, which are important to, to drive, and fuel.